If you are looking for a fun adventure now that your kids are out of school, why not head up to Mill Mountain Zoo? Bambi Godkin is the education manager at Mill Mountain Zoo, and today she has brought Lincoln the ball python. Yes. I love Lincoln. Yes, so she's tell very us a little pretty. bit about ball pythons. <laughs> they are from Africa. Okay. Um, and they're relatively small snakes, about four to six feet is as big as they get. Oh, uh, that's small. Yeah. Okay. I think it is. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> um, and the name ball python, it comes from what they do to protect themselves because, of course, Africa has a lot of large predators. Right. Um, and they're, being, being that they are a relatively small animal for that area, I mean, of course, they're predators too, but bigger predators eat smaller predators. Right. Um, so, so what they do when they get scared is they, they curl up, they ball up up into a ball oh. and they tuck their little head in the center of that ball. Um, they're very thick and muscular so it's it'd be difficult for an animal to uncoil them with its paws. Okay. Um, what the, it just makes it dif more difficult for an animal to pick them up you know in their mouth because she's it, right. you know when she's just slithering along on the ground it'd be really easy to grab her with you know if but yeah, when she's balled up, up it's gonna be harder yeah. Well she seems like she's doing a pretty good job Right? She's really comfortable okay. with um, ed education. Um, okay, because so there are certain animals that you use to kind of teach. Yeah, yeah, okay. and um, so this is one of our education snakes, okay. and so she's been out on, you know, she's been with us I think about five years, and before she was with us, she was actually belonged to another woman that used her for education, so she's very comfortable with. Now, they can find prey in complete darkness? Yes. Um, How is that? They have two things. One, really good night vision. So their eyes, they see really okay. well. But if you notice, there's little holes on her upper jaw. Mm -hmm. And those are filled with nerves. Those are called labial heat pits. And they're filled with really sensitive nerves that allow her to see infrared. So <gasps> she can see, sense well, There's body no heat. hiding from her. No. So she'll, and, then, and that's going to help them find prey. It's also going to help them avoid becoming prey because they're, right. when they're scanning, they're going to be able to see if it's like, you know, a large amount of body heat or a small amount of body heat. That is so cool. And then, so they still have some physical remains from evolution. Oh, yeah. So tell us a little if, bit about that. Let me see. They, uh, pythons and boas have vestigial li limbs from okay. once upon a time when they had legs. Um, so they have little claws. Anal, <gasps> they're called anal spurs. So little claws right there. Oh, yeah. I can that see are that. left over from, uh, yeah, when they had legs once upon a time. <laughs> that is so crazy. So do all bi ball pythons have this? All, all, all pythons, so okay. all python species and all okay. boas mm -hmm, have those. Is, and then what, what is the crep? Crepuscular. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't try to pronounce it. What does that mean? So we, when you're in school, you always learn about nocturnal and diurnal animals. Right. Later on, you find out there's a lot of animals that are crepuscular. They're active at dusk and dawn. Oh, so, okay. um, not to say that they won't be out at night, but they're going to be most active in that early, early morning, late evening period. Okay. Time. So, so then so. when does she sleep? So she'll sleep kind of through the middle of the day okay. and then the middle of the night. <gasps> oh, I kind of <laughs> like that. And then um, the, their habitat is facing threats, is that right? Yeah, they're, um, I know Africa, of course, um, is subject to a lot of the same habitat issues that we're having, you know, in other parts of the world. So mm -hmm. these guys like forest edges um, and, you know, near the savannas on the edges of the forest. So deforestation, um, any kind of thing like that, that would be in warfare in certain areas okay. of Africa. So definitely that's a problem as well. And then they're also exported for pet Yeah, trade. unfortunately they don't breed well in captivity. So okay. instead they're a lot, and this is is true of a lot of reptiles and birds as well, um, where they round up wild ones and okay. then export them to Europe or the United States, wherever people want them as pets. Um, and it. it's it's kind of a unfortunate in industry. Right. With some animals, it's illegal. With some, it's not. It depends on their status. Like if it's an endangered species, these guys are not okay. endangered, so it's not illegal, unfortunately, to do that. And what are your hours right now? Yeah, we're open seven days a week, okay. and we are open at ten, and we are open until five. Okay. Uh, or did I say we open at ten? We're open until five. We okay. close admissions at four. But Got you it. Can stand grounds. Baby, thank you so much for coming in. Yeah.